first and foremost, I want to give a shout out on this show to uh, Jamie Foxx. So apparently uh, three weeks ago, Jamie Foxx had a medical scare. It hasn't come out as far as to what happened exactly, but, you know, word has been speculating that he had a stroke. Uh, But, you know, I'm not here to spread any, you know, false narratives because that's something real serious. Whatever it is, you know, for him to be in the hospital three weeks after that's serious. Um, he he put this on his story. Appreciate all the love, feeling blessed. His family asked that, you know, people send their prayers. So I just wanted to start off the show with that, uh, you know, on a slightly more serious note, because Jamie Foxx is somebody that, you know, us um, millennials and early Gen Z generations grew up watching. You know what I'm saying? Like 90s babies, Jamie Foxx's, you know, Jamie Foxx show, plus all the movies he's been in, plus all the music he's made. Uh, Jamie Foxx show, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. You know what I'm saying? We had the whole thing with Will Smith at the Oscars, smacking Chris Rock. You know, Martin is like the only one that's kind of ducked off doing his own thing. Nothing has really happened. So, you know, I just want to give flowers to all of those that we watched coming up because they're in their 50s, you know, close to 60s, I think. So they're not young. I mean, they're they're young, but they're not super young anymore. So we just got to appreciate them while they're here. We're glad that Jamie is, you know, good. We're sending his prayers. He's awake, which is good. He's, you know, sending stuff and whatnot. But if it is a stroke, then that's serious. You know what I'm saying? Get well, Jamie. You a legend to us 90s babies and millennials. Now, I want to ask y'all this. Is Jamie Foxx the most versatile one to do it of all time? Like, is he the most versatile of all time? He might be. <clears throat> I was thinking about this. And let's let's think about it because we're talking music. We're talking acting. You know, we're talking the whole shebang. I think he's the most versatile to ever do it. Plus, his show was good. I personally... I, I would put it like top five. I got Wayne's Brothers above it. I got Martin above it. I got Fresh Prince. And then I would put Jimmy Fox show. But I think he's the most versatile to do it. You know what I'm saying? We had this debate earlier and I, I'm going to give it to him. I'm going to give him the most uh, versatile award. Now, this is the official. Let me take a shot for my man first. Ay, 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 ay. All right. So we're going to do a do over. We have top five Jamie Fox movies of all time. Top five. Let me make sure I do it right. Let me look up all his movies first, because I feel like I'm missing at least one more. Okay, shift. Uh, Day Shift was cool. I saw that. That was decent. Just Mercy. I heard that was decent with Michael B. Jordan. I didn't watch that. If anybody's seen uh, Just Mercy, let me know how that was. Due Date. He was in Due Date, but he was, you know, it was very short-lived in Due Date. White House Down. Ah, we have White House Down. Django, of course. That's a no-brainer. Law Abiding Citizen. That's what I was missing. Man, soloist, didn't see that. The Kingdom. Oh, man. Stealth, collateral, breaking all the rules. Wow. Ali. Oh, Ali. I love Jamie and Ali. He was Ali's black Jewish trainer, the black Jew. Ray. Yeah, Ray. Ray. We'll, we'll get to Ray. Ray is definitely top two, but is it two? We'll see. Um, He was good in Ali. He was a black Jew. Booty call. Okay. Players Club. Wow. I missed so much. All right, so here we go. Let me know what y'all got. We're doing top five Jamie Foxx movies of all time. Oh, this is so tough. This just got 10 times more difficult for me. Okay, top five Jamie Foxx movies of all time. Um, For number five, for number five, give me Law Abiding Citizen. Law Abiding Citizen for number five. The Kingdom was good. This is tough. Oh, man, this is tough. For number four, I'm going to go with Booty Call. Booty Call for number four. Yeah, I did mess it up, but we're doing a do-over. No worries. This is the new list. Number five, we have Law by Citizen. Number four, we have Booty Call. Number three, give me Any Given Sunday. Willie Beeman, he killed it. Just from him going from, um, because in any given Sunday, he was the backup quarterback that was, you know, real humble. And then he ended up starting and then he kind of, you know, fell into the limelight and got arrogant. And then he went back to being humble. So that movie really showed the range in that department. Law of Bison is number three. Just do it next week. Number two. We're going Django. Django number two. Got the hat. Django number two. And then Ray number one. All right, so that's the new list. Top five Jamie Foxx movies. Number five, we have Law Abiding, 
Number five, we have Law Abiding Citizen. Number four, we have Booty Call. Number three, we have Any Given Sunday. Number two, we have Django. Number one, we have Ray. Willie Beeman. Shout out to uh, Jamie Foxx. Um, but yeah, that's how we're going to close it. We're going to give our flowers to Jamie Foxx. Everything else we talked about, just hit rewind if you want to catch it. Um, everybody that tuned in on YouTube Live, I really appreciate y'all. We're going to be right back with it next week. And um, that's how we're doing it, man. This is Day and Night Live. I'm going to keep this on YouTube as well if you want to watch it back and all that. Um, but again, everyone that tuned in, I truly appreciate y'all. If y'all could just hit like on this video to help, you know, get it spread out, help with the algorithm and whatnot. And um, until next week, y'all be safe, man. It's Cinco de Mayo. Arriba! Turn up for our brown folks on, this, on the south of the border. You know what I mean? Turn up for them. Um, tequila and Modelo only. Don't pull up with Hennessy and Crown Royal, man. Y'all be safe. This is Day at Night, and we are reporting out. Peace.